Brothers and sisters in Christ, I should begin by sharing with you my qualifications to determine the authenticity of the Clementine homilies and the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Over the years, and I am now 75, I have studied and cross-referenced the Catholic and King James Bibles, Dead Sea Scrolls, Gospels of the Nag Hammadi, the Clementine homilies, Humane Gospel of Christ, Gospel of the Holy Twelve, plus countless other biblical resources. I should point out the fact that of the different versions of the canonized Catholic and King James Bibles, the Catholic Bible, Douay Version, and the King James Bible, KJV, both have been being printed during the same era while being severely corrupted, are the least corrupted of all the versions. Jesus, whose biblical name is Yeshua, was a member of the Essenes, and the Essenes were vegetarians. Both the Clementine homilies and the Gospel of the Holy Twelve crystallized the fact Jesus, Yeshua, preached against the consumption of flesh. And there are huge differences between the lessons contained in the Clementine homilies and the Gospel of the Holy Twelve as compared to those within the canonized Bibles. By the way, from this point on, I will address Jesus as Yeshua. Apostle John wrote an accounting of the lessons Yeshua taught to his followers, and that gospel had several names attributed to it, a couple of which were the Gospel of the Nazarenes and the Lost Gospel. According to information contained in the early Church Fathers' epistles, the Synoptic Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke were based upon the Lost Gospel. By the way, after Constantine had ordered the destruction of books containing doctrine that had not been authorized by the First Council of Nicaea 325 AD, the early Church Fathers wrote in their epistles that much of that which Yeshua taught had been lost. The Clementine Homilies is a very important writing as it contains an accounting of the lessons Apostle Peter taught to Clement of Rome. And its importance is the fact the messages of the lessons contained in the Clementine Homilies mirror the messages of the lessons contained in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Further, ancient Hebrew texts far older than the Hebrew text used by most translators, support the lessons contained in the Clementine homilies and in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Those ancient Hebrew texts also reveal the fact scribes, priests, Pharisees, and Sadducees made alterations and additions to those ancient texts. And the Lord confirmed that fact when he told his prophet Jeremiah in chapter 8, verse 8, how will you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? In vain have the scribes used a false pen. The ancient texts far older than those used by most translators reveal the Lord gave to Adam his first prophet, the everlasting agreement, which contains the commandments mankind is to obey and knowledge of those commandments is crucially important to a soul's salvation. Why? The everlasting agreement makes clear that those souls who do not obey the commandments, whether they know about them or not, are distancing themselves from God. Thanks to Satan's interference and influence, the everlasting agreement given to Adam became obscure and God renewed it again through his prophets Enoch and Noah. And each time, due to Satan's interference and influence, it became obscure again. The Lord gave this prophecy to Jeremiah in 3131. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It is written in both the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ and in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve 
that Yeshua fulfilled his father's prophecy after his transfiguration on the mount, when he gave his father's law of love to his chosen twelve. And that law of love is also known as the everlasting agreement. By the way, the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ also makes it clear those who violate the law of love, even though they do not know about it, are distancing themselves from God. The everlasting agreement and the law of love both tell us they who consume the flesh of any creature are distancing themselves from the eternal. But why? God loves each of his creatures he created. The eternal created his creatures from the same breath that he gave to mankind, as is revealed in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 19. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they all have one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence above a beast, for all is vanity. Yeshua, throughout the humane gospel of Christ and the gospel of the Holy Twelve, often came to the defense and aid of creatures he saw being murdered or abused. He gave life back to slain creatures, and he stopped the abuse of creatures being brutalized, and then healed them. Those acts of love and kindness to God's creatures are not included in the canonized Bibles. Why? If it were made known within the canonized Bibles, we are commanded to love God's creatures. How could it be possible the Lord would also have demanded they be used in a bloody sacrifice to redeem a soul from sin the creature had absolutely nothing to do with? Unlike the New Testaments of the canonized Bibles, the Gospel of the Holy Twelve discloses the Jews had demanded Yeshua to be crucified due to the fact he preached doctrine that eradicated the revered blood covenant of Exodus 24 and the blood sacrifice rituals and laws of Exodus 29, which are the very foundation of the Hebrew religion. And it discloses Yeshua did not die on the cross to redeem mankind from their sins. And, it discloses the fact the Old Testament revealed the food God declared mankind is to consume. And it discloses the fact Gabriel told Mary, Yeshua's mother, that Yeshua would save those who obey his law. And it sheds the light on the fact his law is not in the canonized Bibles. And it discloses the fact Holy Spirit came upon Joseph, after which Joseph commanded him to go to Mary, his espoused wife, and she conceived in her womb the Holy One. And it discloses the fact Yeshua fulfilled Old Testament prophecies wherein new law would be given to the house of Israel and Judah. And it discloses the fact the new law Yeshua gave is not in the canonized Bibles. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, the biblical evidence I have shared with you solidifies the reality that Clementine homilies and the Gospel of the Holy Twelve are authentic writings. A huge amount of biblical information regarding the lives of men being taught in God's biblical name Ahia and Yeshua's names is available free of charge at www.unifiedchurchofchristandtruth.org. That URL is also available to click on in the description section of this documentary. Peace and love.